And new tonight, residents in Cahokia Heights have been getting nowhere with officials on cleaning up a neighborhood mess. But that's all that's changing now. Fox 2's Elliot Davis is involved taking on the case, and it's got that for you in tonight's You Paid For. It. It's a nice neighborhood in what used to be Cahokia. Nice except for this mess. A mobile home abandoned by its owner and just left like this. Trash and all. And it's become an invitation for outsiders to use it as a dumping ground. It's heartbreaking for people here who care about their community. It's horrific. It's, it's embarrassing. It's not healthy. This is a really nice street. There's a lot of good people here. And we shouldn't have this. Have you guys tried to get officials to do something about this? We have called everybody and anybody multiple times, multiple times. They've dealt with this more than a year, calling the city time and again, only to get the brush off. They tell me debris from here is blowing all over the street, along with the stench. It was so bad, the person living next door built a fence so he wouldn't have to see this when he looked out his window. It's heartbreaking. You know, who wants to live like this? I don't, and then none of the neighbors around here do either. Cahokia is not doing nothing. None of the officials are doing their jobs properly. Nothing's getting done, and I'm, I'm tired of it. What used to be Cahokia is now part of Cahokia Heights after Cahokia's merger with its neighbors. I talked to the new mayor of Cahokia Heights, Curtis McCall. He says the problem is created by owners walking away from properties and leaving them like this. He told me dealing with this issue is high on his list of problems to address. What are you guys going to do uh, regarding this property that I pointed out? This particular property here, we're going to have our street department workers to go out and, of course, clean it up. Uh, no one should have to live, as I stated earlier, on the side of something uh, of an eyesore like that. Sure enough, Truder's word, the city's bulldozers and work crews were out in force to clean up this mess. When they're finally finished, all that will be here is an empty lot, which would be a welcome sight to long-suffering residents here who had had enough. Well, we called you because we had went through all the proper channels to get it done, and nothing was getting done. Looks a lot better. Yes, it does. It's getting there, isn't it? It's getting there. I'm happy. <laughs> yes, I'm really happy. So now we can look out when the trailer is knocked down and have a nice yard next door. So this time we're able to come to the aid of residents here in Cahokia. But keep in mind, we're here for you as well. So if you spot questionable government spending, just go to our website, fox2now.com, or you can leave your tips and tell me what you think. After all, you paid for it.